Welcome everyone. This is so exciting. A year ago we started talking about Columbia Streams Art Project and, and today we're sitting here at the Columbia Museum of Art with 35 fish created not only to reflect our community but the creativity in our community and it's so exciting to be here as we have local artists, we had schools, we had elementary kids all engaged in creating projects to not only bring attention to the arts in our community, but also to reflect the beautiful natural asset that we have, which is the riverfront, where, you know, being a city with three rivers, um, Spanish moss, class two rapids, water lilies, blue heron, and leaping trout, goats, if you've been reading the news, you saw that we have goats down there uh, who are helped trimming up, making our uh, riverfront more beautiful, but also the two alligators in our Canals. We got all kinds of wildlife, as you know. But trout are one of, I think, one of the most beautiful fish, but very much reflect uh, the three rivers. And so having all these trouts here behind us, decorated in their individual characters and stories behind it, is amazing. And um, these artists that are standing behind me have done an incredible job. And this is what this was about. This was about creating a project not only to, to really reflect, but we want to raise a little money too, folks. We want to have this auction where people are buying and displaying these across our community and really engaging so that the funding going back into the art community so we can do more public art or more projects like this that really draw attention to our community. And I think this reflects the creativity that we have here. Um, we have all of these fish, so I talked a little bit about um, the gallery is open and will remain open through Wednesday, May 15th. And that evening we will have an auction, so bring your checkbooks. Uh, we don't take Bitcoin, but we will take credit cards. Um, and we want to auction these off uh, here at the museum, right upstairs that evening, and, and hopefully be displaying these um, over the next couple of weeks after that uh, throughout our city. Uh, we invite you to join. We have drinks, music, 35 sculptures that will be on display and available. Uh, we encourage our residents, our business owners, our community groups to bid and join us. Uh, get your paddles ready. You can register online. I've had a lot of calls already from community members who are interested and even some of the, the artists of the schools, in particular two of the schools have called and said, well, how can we start bidding? We want to get our alumni to buy it. We want it back which I think is a great thing. Um, I know that uh, as we continue to, to, to move forward, that these type of projects are important to really reflect the talent here. Um, as we continue to invest in our arts community, we want to make sure that we see, we cover everything. This is just one piece of it. This is, when you look at this and you see this artistic creativity, but we want to make sure that as we continue to grow in our community, that it's, we have not only sculptures that we have, you know, our, our roving canvas program that we're doing is taking art, putting it on a canvas and rotating it around our community, creating, showing people what, what's being done here locally. And I want to thank uh, Steve and Chesley and those folks who really brought that forward. I want to take a minute to thank One Columbia for helping us get this out and get us here. I want to thank all the artists that so that we can continue to do these projects and give back to our arts community. i got to thank Scott Garrett. Scott, Scott took this project on as a request from my office, and he's done an incredible job. Peyton Lang uh, in my office, along with Rutherford uh, Fawcett, I want to thank y'all for being there and support with them uh, to, to really make this happen in Dell. These, these incredible trouts. Uh, if you haven't seen it, get down here. Come by the museum. Take a look. I think you'll be blown away with what you see here in Columbia, South Carolina. Della? Thank you. Well, hello, I'm Della Watkins, the executive director here at the Columbia Museum of Art. And similar to the CMA's mission, the Mayor's Leaping Trout Project connects art and community. 
At the heart of this program are the artists. They took an idea, they individualized it, and often transformed it into new meaning. It's what artists do. Their creative act, their details, their imaginative and meaningful expression all contribute to the space that each one will be eventually placed. Public art serves multiple purposes. It can illuminate a space, it can inform, it can commemorate, and often, like this project, it elevates a cause. And the cause is to build that art, um, uh, that public art fund. In activating spaces, art promotes the engagement, but the art and people come together. And this helps improve an area's safety, it, it shows artistic reputation, and it becomes a community fingerprint where artists and residents feel represented. The Com Columbia Museum of Art is a community hub that sparks imaginations for you. We connect people with art from around the corner and around the world. Public art matters. It commemorates, it gains cultural reputation, it begins to help with social impact, and also it's an economic cachet. I look forward to continuing the role as the city's cultural anchor. We're an art place, we're a community place, and in our partnership, we really look forward to the Wednesday, May 15th opportunity for these trouts to be positioned into the community. As you, please come to the museum anytime. The, the, the trouts are on view through, next, through the 15th. And let's hear from one of the artists that had an opportunity to transform a work. I'd like to introduce Devin Corley. Hey folks, my name's Devin Corley. I'm a resident of Columbia, South Carolina and a local artist. I'm super proud and super honored to be part of this program. Uh, it combines two of my favorite things. I love art and I love the outdoors. Um, so what's not to you know, be happy about here? Um, the process was fantastic. I enjoyed every bit of it. Um, I'm looking forward to everyone coming out and seeing our, our works on display. Um, I think the city has done a fantastic job of putting this together, and I think um, I look forward to seeing more projects like this in the future. I'm going to pass the podium on to Alicia Leak. Hi, my name is Alicia Leak. I'm a local artist from Columbia, South Carolina. I've been living here my whole life, and I was thrilled to be able to be part of this public art project and paint one of the leaping trout. But I think maybe more than that, my favorite part of the project was being able to collaborate with other artists and especially the part where other artists are like, hey, would you like to paint a fish? And I'm like, yeah, I would love to. Mm -hmm. I know that um, Curran Stone doesn't live far from me, and we talked about our automotive coatings and different things like that. So I'm just really happy to be here. Um, I think the auction is going to be fantastic. We, and during the open studios time, I actually had my fish still in the studio, but it was available for public view, so it generated a lot of publicity for the community who are anxious to get one of the fish and have them in their yards or at the front of their business. So. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Are there any questions with anybody? Why do you feel that um, art is so important in the downtown area and the surrounding communities? Uh, to have a successful city, and look, our goal is for Columbia, South Carolina to be the number one city in South Carolina, and not just by population, by a place that people want to come to and live. It's about our live-work balance. Art is a major part of, of people's live-work balance. It's what people are attracted to. And everybody has a different, we had a conversation earlier, I was talking to one of the artists, you know, we want to make sure that not only our young folks, but folks can I indulge and be part of this and understand the value of art and why it's important to bring that creativity out. You know, it, it's the little things that come together. It's, it's all the way across the spectrum from cul cul culinary arts to visual arts. You know, we, we have this cadre of people here, and what we keep talking about is how do we tell our story? Well, we tell our story through arts. We tell our story through music. We tell our story through food and conversations, and all of that's together. And for us to be a success, successful community, we can't do that if art's not part of it. So we have an obligation to be a seed planter in the art community, and that's what we want to keep doing, and, and this is one way to do it. 